Well, I've got no idea how to fix that. Anyway, hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you're three dollars in the room, mad. There's a hot dog over there. We could investigate that. We could also set our quest to be nothing but a hound dog, so we know where we're going. Approximately. But there is a world map. So we know we need to go this way. First. And then we can worry about everything else. Like... Where do you rat scorpions come from? The answer is not your mom. Unless your mother is a rat scorpion, in which case rat scorpions do come from your mom. I still don't understand how I managed to mistake them for crabs in the fun episode. I kept calling them crabs. I just kept doing that. With absolutely no good reason. Can I... I can't punch them. I can see them, but I can't watch them. Should I try to take a shot? Ooh, look. Someone's damaged the car caravan thing. And... Let's be really careful, I'm... Not a big fan of the Garazords. Garazards, whichever. Those ones are especially creepy because they are running around like little uh, skittering bugs. Oh no, someone's sacked Griffin Wares. And this, whoever was in that ash pile, they were wearing no clothes. Hmm. Ah. That's empty. Another plasma rifle. Sure, I'll take that. I can repair that to be functional. Something to recycle later. And, well, I could recycle them right now. I have someone in my party who can do just that. Should I take a shot? The answer was no, 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 I shouldn't. They're just moving too frantically. If I gave them, like, a reason to come at me, bruh, that's. Then I would. Probably be more likely to hit them because they would actually come right towards me. But since they're just doing random stuff, it's not quite that simple. I like that my part is basically, however proficient in stealth as I am. Well, just as proficient in stealth as I am. I guess. Oh, they do have expensive poison glands, though. Which, seriously? Don't you think you legionaries have harassed me long enough? They're messing with Rex. They are messing with Rex, and Rex didn't like it, by the looks of it, and hopefully they did not actually die. Because that would be the shit. Oh, Rex is unconscious. It's okay. Can I put some bu bullets in your head? No, space. The odds would have probably been better if I had just done my own thing, but hey. I did get a headshot somehow. Alright, mission accomplished. We have managed to successfully fend off a legion attack once again. And we get a hunting shotgun, shotgun and a shotgun as a reward. As well as a screw on a stick. It's a very tight water. 
Not bad if I say so myself. Though I still would have preferred if I was not Keep looking. in the situation with uh, more and more legionaries attacking me. I suppose it's my own fault for attacking them first. What's a brush gun? Sure, I'll take it. I didn't know there was such a thing as a brush gun in this game. I just didn't know what it exactly is. Was it all of them? Or did we kill one before? No, I don't think we did. There was like three of them up the hill and... I'm quite sure they died roughly in the same area where we found them. And that there was not another one. Which is disappointing, I know, but you know. You don't always get to do things the nice way. Is this the right path? Yeah, apparently. If this actually takes me to the Great Khans, I will be shooting up some Great Khans and. Boon will live out a nightmare from the past, which probably isn't ideal at all. Yeah. In our defense, we can be a sneering imperialist and kill them. Guns don't count as an imperialist today, no problem not. They're just a gang who didn't want to play with Mr. House's games at all. This path is probably really long. I guess it's shorter than whatever we experienced in Zion, but it's still quite a lot. And if my memory does not betray me, there was some issue with some combat or another along the way. Something about people not liking the people of Jacobstown. Why the people of Jacobstown are actually all pretty nice. Especially the grandmother. You will love the grandmother if you haven't seen her yet. Sure, you won't actually be able to tell that she's a grandmother, but she's a grandmother. The grandchildren probably aren't doing all that well, but, you know. I'm a hunter. So the red uh, sign marker I was seeing was actually... A big corner. Okay, there's a hollow dot rock there, so we're gonna investigate that one. Dude so probably still has nothing of interest. Go away, sun sunshine. Displaying in my eyes and my. I don't even. I suppose you're not actually in lens flare, are you? Lens flare would be that other stuff. Alright, what's in you? Ruby Hill Mine. So you're the Hollow Dark Rock. Hollow Rock out? No, Hollow Dark Rock. Yeah. Shall we? We shall! Trouble. They knew we were trouble when we walked in. <laughs> so that's why they fell over and died. 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 I should probably actually listen to the song so I can make references of it properly. Yeah. Well, it's not really my kind of music. I respect the artist and thus. I should familiarize myself with her work. Now, where are we? In a hole, I guess. In a mine. Did anyone bring a pickaxe? No, but we've got explosives. Why didn't we? Oh, there was scrap electronics there. Yeah, we're... So basically, it's not a matter of loot everything. Good to know. We actually need the scrap electronics because I don't think we can do anything interesting with them unless there's science recipes. But I haven't really looked into that. Alright. I 
think. Very quiet. We can kill some late blocks. Oh. He didn't die. That's okay. Rex will get you. Oh, what was that? Did Rex get you? It looks like Rex did indeed get the lake lurk. If you are if you're curious why I'm not looting the lake lurks, it's because they have nothing. They never will have anything. They will just always have nothing. Where's the surface? Oh, here it is. Well This is awkward, isn't it? Get away. That was a mistake. I meant this weapon. You are still in danger, apparently. Uh, I cannot tell where the danger is. Is that the danger? That's the danger! Oh, not dead. That one's dead there. Where's my army? Here's Veronica. Hey, you. I can't even attack you underwater, can I? No. Shackle gang member? Well, that's unexpected. Also, did I just... Push you? Sure. One key, sure. Uh, bear in mind, I can stand up on this piece of corpse. That might just be enough to let me kill the lake clock, but uh, apparently no. But the lake clock corpses don't float either. Seriously, the West Boon. Alright, it was somewhere over there, no? I can only see Edie. Oh, there he is. Oh dear. Danger reverted. Situation has been resolved peacefully. Wait, that wasn't peaceful at all. Oh no. Also, someone managed to lock a crate. I guess it's possible, but you actually need to build up a lock mechanism. And I don't think that is a good use of time. We're wearing we're carrying a lot of heavy stuff apparently. Is this the same chapter member? I didn't mean to take the water. I just remembered we can still carry like a hundred other things because we are actually proficient at carrying things now. And I've been using a lot of ammo, apparently. Didn't help that I was simply shooting water. At least we walked in like badasses, just shooting things and making their heads explode and, you know. It was a situation where they did and indeed know that we were troubled as soon as we walked in. And it was spiffy. Nifty. Amazing. Fantastic. Dead. Nope. Well, they are dead. The situation is not dead. I don't know. It is cool. We are... 10 kilos away from our next level of animal control. And I'm still going to only kill animals that show up as red when Boone tells me to kill them. And Boone tells me to kill a lot of animals. And the fact that the animal corpses don't turn red immediately just distracts me from the purpose of killing them. I think we are about to get another level of... Uh, well, for one, we're about to get another level. That's nice. That actually makes shooting these big horners worth it. Ooh, see, there's trees. 
There's trees on the horizon. Oh, no, they're not. Or not. Well, no, they're not. I'm saying hope here. I thought we were, would see some nature and stuff. We can still get two more companions, by the way. I think I'm gonna go with the engineer cool. And, 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 and. I don't know who else is there. I really don't know. <laughs> That's awkward. Well, I know I'm probably not going to go with... Well, actually, I have no idea in that regard either. Because I don't really remember all the photos that are there. Last time I just used Edie and Veronica after I had Boon fired because Veronica came up. And Veronica is really cute. Yeah, okay. That's probably not a good reason to switch out to companions, but also Brotherhood of Steel. You know, that is a good reason. Because the New California Republic, what did they do to me back in the earlier fallouts? Nothing. Nothing good, anyway. Okay, so now I know that there are small enemies here. We are not just hunting big hunters again. And that might be more difficult. To make things dead with. It's also night time, basically. So, that may be an issue. So, it will get dark. And once it gets dark, it might get full of terrors. They usually come with that baggage. Dark and full of terrors. You know. That's how the night is. Darkness is fast approaching there. I guess it's because we're so close to the equator. So you don't get that lingering afterglow or morning. That's probably not called afterglow in the morning, but... Uh, it had some glow in it. Animal control. Hey. Oh. Well, we got their attention. Someone's attention, anyway. That's another one of those. Somehow managed to hit the rock. Guess that's okay. Because we still win. Uh -oh. We want skin cautious too. No in danger. Because of another one of those guys. I'm not gonna waste a bullet in that. I won't hit. There's no way I'll hit. Let's wait a moment there. Like, let's do 11 hours. We can get by with 10 even. Good morning, America. These are in fact trees. You may have heard of them, you may have seen them in your real life thing. But these are actually living trees. In the Fallout universe. It's like It's like this particular valley didn't get nuked to hell. Uh, what is that? Okay, um That's not at all a scary thing to look at. Look, okay, there's a group of stuff up there. Is that, if that is an actual group of full hornets, uh, big hornets, that's the one. Yeah, it is. Look at an animal control bird. That's nice. And they shot the bug in the butt. That took some precision aiming there. Bugs don't have big butts. I know they cannot lie. There are of course some insectoid lovers who would try to deny. But... Well, actually spiders I guess have really big butts. Comparatively. I guess it's really... Yeah, it's a matter of comparison. Really, if you compare their butt to the torso, 
It can be pretty big. If you count the whole rear as a butt. Which kind of is, because it's the rear, and the rear is a butt. Uh, at least so I've been taught. By many, 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 many hours of goofing about. Basically. I have an approximate knowledge of many things. Alright. Okay, so we are approaching Jacobstown. We have actually made it to our destination. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Let's be fair now. If I get into serious shit, I have 101 Dalmatian Stimpaks.